Court filings reveal that Igor Danchenko, the source of the now debunked Steele dossier, later accused of lying to the FBI, was actually on the FBI's payroll as a confidential informant. And Joe Contra joins us now. Joe, what should our takeaway from this revelation be? Well, it isn't clear, Carly, from the court filing what information the FBI was paying Denchenko for. And you may remember the Steele dossier. Go back and, and read all the headlines uh, when that story first broke from BuzzFeed when they printed the whole thing without verification when CNN ran with it shortly thereafter. It, it led to the entire FBI investigation into Donald Trump and Russia collusion, and the thing was more gossip than gospel, right? But, but at the time, it just sounded so important, the steel mm. dossier. It sounds like something out of a Bond film. So now, uh, again, uh, this is why if Republicans take back the House in November, and they should, uh, you're going to see hearings into Hunter Biden, who you just discussed, and into the origins of the Steele dossier and how it led to this entire mess that consumed a presidency for, for three years when Donald Trump was in office, and it was all based on a lie. And again, the FBI obviously has to answer here uh, for what they were paying Denchenko exactly for. More questions and answers uh, from this revelation, Carly and Todd. This could be a really big deal. People need to start paying attention. Meantime, Joe, President yeah. Biden using a taxpayer-funded jet and a motorcade to vote in person rather than casting an absentee ballot, allegedly taking a $177,000 trip to Delaware. He took the trip. It allegedly cost $177,000. Joe, coming off the right. James Taylor concert to celebrate inflation, the day that everybody lost their 401ks, is there no one in the White House messaging arm who looks at anything, specifically this, and says, you know, not a good idea to do the, the concert or have Joe take a $177,000 flight so he can get a Vi Voted sticker? Man, Todd, the song choice from James Taylor, Fire and Rain? I don't know. Can you find something a little more uplifting? Like you got a friend? That may be a way to go. But either way, it was just so cheesy uh, what we saw at the White House earlier this week during the Inflation Reduction Act celebration, you know, the act that doesn't reduce inflation. Uh, look, look, the average cost for travel for a U.S. president is about $2,600 per minute. So, yeah, you do the math. And, and just to go cast a vote, you're going to spend nearly $200,000. But, but this yeah. is a president who has never been terribly interested in cutting spending and saving where he can, right, Carly? I mean, uh, it, look, it, the U.S. government is spending more money now than at any time in U.S. history, and, of course, we pay for that. Uh, and it's quite simple. Cast an absentee ballot and save the time and money Absolutely. and actually get to work. I mean, last month alone, guys, the president was on vacation nearly 70 percent of the time. I mean, his schedule is incredible. He, he, he has one briefing today at 8.30, which he gets every day. Then he goes to one event at 3.30 p.m. And that's it. Yeah. That's all he and does the, today. And Joe, the Inflation uh, and, Reduction and you see that Act, time and again. Absolutely. The Inflation mm -hmm, Reduction sorry. Act is really a climate change bill. And then right. he immediately hops on the private jet. Mr. Climate Change there. He, he, he Joe, must not be you. very confident yeah. in Who's our uh, absentee ballot voting system. Joe, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.